channel. This video is going to be an update for the Wizard of Panning project pan that I'm doing with the Pantastic Ladies. As always, the creators of the project will be linked down below and the playlist will be up in the cards for you. This time around I have actually met Gold on some things which is really exciting because it kind of like was a, I don't know, a last minute push that I had because this project only runs until December 31st and then it's finished. So I'm just trying to get as much of it done as I possibly can. Right now I have, I think, eight things done but we'll go through the list and I'll tell you whether it's done, whether it's not done, where we are, measure progress, that kind of thing. So the first one was for Dorothy and that was something that I thought would be easy to pan but wasn't. And I picked the blue shade from this Inglot quad that I made. I was thinking about this eyeshadow the other day and I was like, maybe it's definitely too bright for this time of year to be wearing on my lid, but maybe I could get away with wearing it like in the lower lash line or something, like uh, as a kind of just a pop of color and keep my lid neutral. And then I could like pair it with a more brownie toned lip or a more ready toned lip, but I will just have to have a play around and see what I can do with that. The next one was for the Wizard of Oz and that was something to see and for that I picked this. This is the Hufflepuff lipstick which is a colour changing lipstick. I'm not going to measure the progress this time around because I've not used this so this is where we are currently and this is where we were before so that is that one. The next one was for Tin Man and that was something silver and I finished that. I picked the little Lip Smackers lip balm. Then the next one was the Scarecrow is something you are scared to pan and I picked this loose pigment in the shade Mr. Toad's Wild Ride and it's just a lime green loose pigment. I've not used this the entire project. We'll see what happens with this one. The next one is Cowardly Lion and that was something out of your comfort zone and for that I picked this. This is the Sleek Blush in the shade Guapia, Guipia, uh, unsure. It is this middle shade here. I used this a few times but as everyone knows blush is really hard to hit pan on so I'm just seeing where I can get with this. The next one was for Glinda and that was something glittery and for that I picked a glitter from my Revolution Glitter Palette and I picked this shade here in Vias and as I've mentioned in other projects I'm not using glitters this year just because I'm not going anywhere and I don't want to use a glitter to, I don't know, do laundry or whatever. So maybe we won't see any progress on this at all but I wouldn't be mad if we didn't because of like Covid, I can't really do much about that so. The next one was the Wicked Witch of the West something you hate and for that I picked a nail polish which I finished. Uh, Toto I finished that was something you love and for that I picked a body spray. Munchkins was something to protect your skin and that one was this. This is the Hawaiian Tropic Silk Hydration Airsoft SPF 50 sunscreen and when this came into the project not at the beginning of the year this was a late edition. We started at this bottom line and now we're at the top blue line. This is an item that pushes upwards as you use it so a little bit of progress. I'm not going to finish the whole thing by December but I knew that anyway going in because it's a huge thing and it was brand new so that is that one. The next one was Lollipop Guild and that was a something candy related and that one is actually one of the ones that I've hit goal on this time around. So I picked from the Sprinkles palette by Revolution and I picked this shade here in Sherbet and as you can see, once my camera focuses, there is pan there. So this one I'm calling done, I'm moving it out of this project. It's written as done in my book now, so that is that one completed. The next one was Monkeys, and that was something that stalks you, and for that I picked the Wet n Wild Reserve Your Cabana. This I wanted to hit pan on, which I did at the last update, but we said that we'd keep it in just to see how far I could get on this, basically. So this is what the pan looks like currently, but for all intents and purposes of this project, I'm, this one is done. This is just like a on-the-side bonus item, I guess. The next one was Horse of a Different Colour and that was something duochrome and for that I picked from the Too Faced, this is the Sugar Plum Cookie Palette little booklet thing from last year's Christmas collection and I picked this shade here in Don't Desert Me and as you can see I have a hit pan in that one as well. So this is another eyeshadow that's going to be moving out of this project. I'm really happy that I managed to get not one but two eyeshadows done this time around so that means now that I can focus on other eyeshadows that weren't having progress. Before. Uh, the next one was Auntie M, something comforting, and for that I picked the Jador body cream. I finished that ages ago. Uncle Henry was something that brings back memories, and 
for that I picked from the White Chocolate by Too Faced. The, speaking of eyeshadows that needed to be worked on that weren't having progress, this is one of them and it is this shade here in Sugared Raisin. I have actually used this once now because the ones that I was focusing on are now done. So hopefully we will hit pan. We have two months to do it in. Let's see what happens. The next one was Yellow Brick Road and that was something yellow or gold. And that one I actually finished ages ago. It was the Maybelline Baby Skin. And the next one then is Emerald City and that was something green and for that I picked this. This is another item that I rolled in late so I don't expect to see exceptional progress but this is the Avon Gel Finish Nail Polish in P822 and it is this green shade nail polish and we were at this top gold line and now we're at the bottom gold line. So a little bit of progress, nothing major, probably not going to finish this polish in two months but we will see what happens. The next one was something red and that was ruby slippers and for that I picked this. This is the NARS Dolce Vita lip pencil and I have actually used this quite a bit this time around because it's now calling for this time of year, this particular shade. So I'm happy to get some use on it. Uh, oh, I almost dropped it then. And this is where we currently are on that one. So again, possibly not something I can use up in two months, but I am pleased to finally see movement on this particular item. So the last item is poppies, and that was something you only wear at night. And for that, I picked this. This is some random night cream that I've explained before. It's like a vitamin E night cream, which was sent to me for testing purposes. And this is where we are currently on that one. And I did say last time that I was annoyed that no matter how many times I use this, progress just doesn't show. So I weighed it and it did weigh 57 grams at the last update and now it weighs 54 grams so I'm pleased that doing it this way I can see the progress now whereas if you look at this compared to last time there's not any real difference but you can definitely tell that I have been using it because of the weight differential. And that's everything for this project. So next time will be the last update before the finale. I might do the finale at the beginning of December, I might do the finale in the middle of December, it won't be at the end of December. So technically this runs until the 31st of December but I probably will finish it a couple of weeks early but that's neither here nor there, that's a couple of months away yet, yeah, can worry about it then. Thanks so much for watching, take care and I will see you very soon. Bye!